coming out to extended relatives and the family and all of that kind of thing. It's Sunday, I'm CJ. Uh, this one for me is gonna be a kind of a flying visit to check in with you all um, because I'm moving house again. And so um, I'm currently in a state of, of bags and packing and just trying to organize my life because uh, obviously the length of time that you think you have to pack and do things and then the actual like relativity of time means that you end up with next to nothing. I think the point that I have and the, the bit that I'm sort of interested in or want to kind of remind people of is the fact that for me it all ties into this notion of a trans narrative and that there's like one story and the story does really definitely seem to be like you come out to your parents and either they shun you or they are immediately embracing and, and life gets to be wonderful. My relationship with my family is obviously different to that, which is why it occurs to me, because that's not the relationship that I have with anyone in my family. First of all, I live far away from my relatives. And for those of you who understand how England works, um, for a small country, relatively speaking, we don't travel around a lot. I'm hundreds of miles away from home and we don't bridge that gap very often, you know. Their involvement in my life is really minimal and that's really significant for me because that's a choice that I've made. Everybody just kind of lives in casual indifference to what's going on. And it can be, that can be tricky and, you know, the ways of actually doing it, I'm, you know, my family are kind of, the ones that are around each other have all been, you know, born and raised within half a mile of where they live. And so the gossip gets around and the talk happens and I just don't see it as my business. And I don't see me as being their business and it's not a kind of involvement or engagement that we have with each other. And that's okay because I've made it to 30 and I'm still okay with that being the relationship that I have. And I guess that's the thing for me is I just kind of want to say to anybody who doesn't have a strained, terrible relationship with their family and doesn't have the best family ever, like there is also this other, you know, sort of third pass that goes on where um, perhaps people don't want to be that involved. And you know, I'm from a very traditional family and involvement is not something that we do because even when they want to get involved, I'm so independent and have been so independent for such a long time that I feel like they're prying on me. So I want to be the voice of saying, you don't have to do the thing. <laughs> you don't have to do it. You don't have to go through it. And you can do it on your terms. If you want to like write a Facebook post or write a letter, or do something where you sort of control the narrative, then that's absolutely, I think, one of those things that's 100% um, hundred percent a great way to do it. Uh, but also, just if you live your life without their involvement or their knowing of you, and you're okay with that, then be okay with that. And I'm not saying, like, be in the closet and hide, because I don't necessarily think that hiding is good for your mental health. But don't feel like you have to tell everybody everything all of the time. And make sure that you have the control as much as possible and try to define things on your terms. But don't put the pressure on anybody, um, yourself or them or anyone that's involved, to have to be like 100% amazingly okay with it right away. It might not happen. And some extended relatives may never. But you do also have the right to walk away from them. So you have the right to say to them, you know, if you're not willing to recognise or respect who I am as a person when I have asked you to do so, um, just remember that that's also... An option. Toxic people shouldn't be involved in your life and you have the right to say to somebody no I don't want and that that goes for family and that can be really hard because there's a certain amount of guilt that I think can come along with that but you are in the right and you don't have to apologize for existing and, and if you're having a hard time or you're having like a lost period or whatever then that's that's permissible <laughs> like that's okay. So have a good week and I'll talk to you next week.